So the name Ace Bailey is a very important moniker in NHL history. Uh, the first Ace Bailey was a top uh, rear guard during the first uh, golden age of the NHL. And this uh, second version of Ace Bailey eventually ended up as a two-time Stanley Cup winner with Boston. And it was also part of uh, Edmonton's five-year dynasty in the 80s and 90s. But unfortunately, life was cut short by 9-11. Uh, he was one of uh, many uh, people who died in the tragic events on September 11th, 2001. We're going to talk about that very soon, but first we want to concentrate on his uh, many hockey achievements and the are many. So Garnet Ace Bailey, born June 13, 1948 in Lloyd's Mr. Saskatchewan, uh, was a member not only of Stanley Cup winners, but of Memorial Cup uh, victors. Now, uh, 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 he was not related to the original Ace Bailey, who skated from 26 to 83, but I think the nickname uh, stuck because, obviously, when you have a, any type of Bailey, uh, the word Ace comes in because it's like, uh, you know, a, a common Canadian nickname. Ace in Canadian hockey means a very good uh, skater. Now, he played junior hockey with the Edmonton Oil Kings from 64 to 67, during which the Oil Kings won the Memorial Cup in 1966. He eventually joined the Bruins in 68, and was a member of their Stanley Cup championships in 70 and 72. He later went on to um, middling success with the Red Wings, Blues, and Capitals. Most of the, te the teams for those three squads in the 70s had some rough results. However, he found himself uh, being a mentor in 1979 when R Bailey returned to Edmonton to play with the Oilers, and he was... Uh, uh, guiding a young Wayne Gretzky under his wing. Now, he became head coach of the Wichita Wing, the Oilers CHL affiliate in 81, and then he worked as a scout with the Oilers from 81 to 84, during which time the team won five Stanley Cups, 81 to 94. Now, uh, kind of a weird thing, his name is only engraved on the 85, 87, and 90 Cups, but uh, uh, technically that's five Cups, so that's seven Cups in total. Pretty impressive. Now, in an NHL career spanning 10 seasons and 568 games, he scored 107 goals and 171 assists with 633 penalty minutes. He wasn't scared to take a minor or a major in key situations. Now, his most productive season was 75 when he uh, scored a combined 19 goals and 58 points for the Blues and the Capitals. Now, uh, in his sole uh, WHA season, he scored uh, four game, go five goals and four assists with 22 minute penalty minutes and 36 games. Now, at the time he's at, he was the LA Kings director of pro scouting. Scouting. Now, Bailey died when the plane he was traveling, which was United Airlines Flight 175, was hijacked and deliberately crashed in the South Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City during the September 11 attacks. Now, Bailey and amateur scout Mark Bavis were traveling from Boston to Los Angeles when the flight was hijacked. They had been in Manchester uh, just a few days prior, visiting the Kings AHL affiliate the Monarchs, to gauge the talent that was on the uh, squad. Now, Bailey and Bavis were mentioned in Boston uh, base, Draw Kick Murphy song, Your Spirit's Alive, and Dennis Lurie also won a Bailey Memorial t-shirt as the character Tommy Gavin in the season one episode Immortal, and in the fourth season episode Pussified, in the TV series Rescue Me, and in his, uh, the popular TV series Rescue Me. Now, in his memory, the LA Kings have named their new mascot, Bailey. Now, Bailey's family founded the Ace Bailey Children's Foundation in his memory. The foundation raises funds to benefit hospitalized children, infants, and their families, very similar to what the IWK uh, does in Canada. Now, at the National September 11 Memorial, Bailey and Bavis are memorialized at the South Pool on panel S3. Now, October 14, 2012, uh, the Kings brought the Stanley Cup to the memorial and placed it on the panels featuring Bailey and Bavis's name so that the families of Bailey and Bavis could have their day with the Stanley Cup. Kings General Manager Dean Lombardi was also in attendance. So, a very, very strong life in hockey. Uh, unfortunately, one day at a time is the adage for any person involved in life. Um, but I still remember him, um, you know, when the Capitals first started, he didn't have any, you know, really veteran uh, presence. And I, I look at the 77 season when, uh, you know, we almost scored 20 goals. Well, with Boston, it'd be best to describe he was a money player. Because in the 72 playoffs, he only had six points, but his two goals were considered probably some of the highlights 
of the Bruins' run that year because they needed him and Teddy Green and a few other of the rugged players, especially against the Rangers and the uh, finals. Now, he was Boston third-round third draft pick, 13 overall, uh, uh, in the 66 NHL amateur draft. And um, he actually eventually left Boston for Gary Doak, who was a presence on the Boston Blue Line for a number of years. And, of course, he was part of the, uh, the big six-team deal between Toronto and um, St. Louis on February uh, 14th when uh, Evans, Watson, and Amell went to Detroit and uh, Teddy Harris, Bill Collins himself, went to uh, the Blues. Now, um, uh, the Dennis DePerry trade uh, was uh, something that uh, really, some people are confused about the Prairie was the best skater, but he's uh, he was considered what you call uh, a third liner, and the third liners were very, very treasured back in the day because with expansion uh, with Washington uh, and later on with uh, the the WHA coming in, you needed a good third line player to solidify especially the road games, and Ace did that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening, and uh, if you have a time today or uh, this coming weekend, take time to, uh, uh, you know, think about the uh, the victims of 9-11. As a journalist, I covered that in 2001, and uh, it was a very rough situation because I don't think America has ever recovered from it, and I don't think it ever will because, uh, you know, a sneak attack like that, especially in the heartland of uh, their unofficial economic capital, uh, you know, it's uh, there's still scars being seen today. So, anyway, God bless everybody. Have a good day. Bye.